In this video, we're going to look at putting some controls onto our user form. So I already showed you in a different video how to create the user form itself. And here I've just opened the uh, project that contains it. So now let's go over to the developer tab and to the editor. And here we are. Oops. Okay. Now I'm going to put several controls onto this user form and then I'll write some code. So let's start with a label. So I'll choose label in the toolbox and I'll create a spot for it here. And you'll notice it has very tiny type right now. So one thing I'm going to do is change the font. So if I click here, Let's me do it. You can see it's 8 point right now. I'm going to make it 12 point. I do think the font itself is okay. And now I'm going to change the caption. So instead of saying label 1, I want it to say first type your name. Okay. And I'm going to just close up the size of the label a little bit like that. Now, this label has a name. It's called Label 1. If I were going to refer to it in the program, I would change its name, but I'm not, so I won't. Uh, but what I am going to do next is create a text box right here where the person is going to type their name. So let's set that up. Now, I'm also going to change the font in here. So let's go to Font and make it 12 point. And since I am going to refer to the text box in my code, I'm going to give it a more meaningful name. So let's call it TXT, which is my typical prefix for text boxes, and then name. So its name is text name. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a button. Notice that when I click on my user form, the toolbox shows up. So let's find a command button here. Command button, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put the button here. And it has a font. Again, let's make it a little bit bigger, 12 point. And I'm going to definitely refer to this button in my code. So I'm going to change the name to um, Let's see, here we go, name. Now buttons, I start with BTN. Uh, I'll just call it push. And I'm going to change the caption to say, then push this button. Or maybe I should say click. Okay. And let's see um, on our form what the caption is, hello. All right, that works for me. I want to move this over a bit. Oops. Having a little bit of a lag here. My computer is being slow. All right, just going to let well enough alone. That's good enough. Now, I want another label. This one, the program will refer to. So let's pick up a label. I'll put it here. Um, again, I'll change the font to size 12. Actually, I'm going to make it 14. Or even, let's make it 16. Pretty darn big. And bold. Okay. And one other thing I'm going to do is initially set the visibility property to false. So when you first run the program, you won't see this label. So the fact that the caption says label 2 doesn't matter because the user won't see it. Okay. Now the, the things that, that are going to happen is that presumably the user will type their name here and then click the button. Well, 
There's nothing I particularly want the program to do when the user types their name, but I do want something to happen when they click the button. So I need some code for that. And to get that, I'm going to double click on this button. And that takes me to the code page. Now I'm not going to put in all the comments that I normally would. I don't want to take the time in the video, but normally I'll always put a banner comment. And what I will take time to do is put my little header of whoops, option explicit. Okay, now we're going to say what should happen when the user pushes the button. So the first thing I want to do is get the name that they wrote in the uh, text box. So I'm going to declare a variable name of um, type string. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is an assignment statement where I set name equal to uh, txt name dot text. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is incorporate that name in the new caption for the big label. So let's um, say that label, you know what? I'm not sure I renamed it. Let's go back over here. I didn't. Okay. I neglected that. I'm going to call it LBL, which is my prefix for label. Um, show. Okay. So now I'm going to say label, sh whoops, not up there. Label show dot caption. I can just put tab here. Equals. Now I'll put my string in quotes. So quote, um, hello, comma, space. Then remember the ampersand character concatenates strings, and I'll put the name, and then I'm going to put another ampersand. Okay, and I'll finish up with an exclamation point. And finally, I need to make the label visible, so I'll do label show dot visible equals true. All right, I'll save this. Oops, let's go back here. I guess it's this one. And now um, I'd like to run it. Now, as you know, the workbook, when we open the workbook, that's when our uh, user form shows up, but there's another way to make that happen. And that is if I come over here and, and go to macros, I can actually run this workbook open macro without actually opening the workbook. So let's do that. And here's my user form. So I'm going to type my name. Um, click the button. Okay. Well, everything's good except I was seeing the... Um, Label 2 here. So let's go back. So I'll close this. And let's go back to the user form. So I want to go to the editor. And I'll double click on this to get my form. Label 2. Now let's just make sure it's really... No. I want it to be false. Okay. Um, let's save that. Now we'll go back over to Excel and run the macro. Okay, that's better. So now I'm going to type my name. Click the button. Done. All right, you should play around. Download this. Um, try it for yourself. Try making different strings. Uh, play around with some of the controls. Make sure you understand how to work it. Maybe add another button that does something else to the label. Uh, do something so that you practice with it and get a good feeling for how it works.